Hello, and welcome to Future of Mining 365. I'm here today with Marcos Hillel, Global Product Line Manager for Automation and Digital at ABB. I'm Jax Jacobson, Deputy Editor of Mining Magazine. Today, we're going to talk about automation and what the future of automation looks like for mining. Welcome, Marcos. Thank you. Thank you, Jax. Welcome. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Great. So in your view, what are the key digital automation trends for 2022 and beyond? You know, mining is, is being more and more adopting the digital and automation in its process every day. And this is a lot being pushed by the trends that we can see in the market. And these trends are basically uh, grouped in four main areas, let's say. First one is sustainability. Sustainability uh, is really a big push among all the large and small operators. All of them are committed to reduce their footprint operations or either to get to net zero operations in the coming years. So mm -hmm. this is really a new license to operate and miners are part of uh, both the problem and the solution. Once the metals that uh, we produce in the industry, they are critical to the decarbonization. Okay, so metals that will support in the electrical transitions from the cars to, to, to electrification, to electrical cars, I mean, uh, metals that uh, support our technology for modern communication, mobile phones, and, and so on, batteries, and that goes on. Mm -hmm. So all of that makes us a part of the problem, but also part of the solution of the problem. And producing in the right way, this is the way, the, 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 uh, let's say the big trend that we see out there in terms of sustainability. Uh, the second point here is autonomous operation. I think uh, this is the end goal to improve production and reduce cost to operate. Remote intelligence centers, uh, this is another big push, another big trend. So minor is not getting easier. Goods, uh, or good ore bodies, they are harder to find close to big cities. So we have to go up here or really deeper underground. So remote intelligence centers, they are critical to take people out of the risk areas, but also to increase the visibility and the integration for the full value chain. And the last, but definitely the one that it's uh, touching every other ones that I mentioned before is the digitalization that is a big catalyzer to make them happen. happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And so we all know it's a journey to get to full automation. So where are mine operators? on the journey? Fully autonomous operation, you know, it's yet uh, uh, to, be, to be achieved. So this is something that uh, already uh, we can see some of the companies paving the way towards that, uh, but definitely it's something that will take some years to be achieved. I mean, the full, uh, fully autonomous operation. In ABB, we, we develop a way to define where our customers are and where they want to be in, in short, medium and long term for the mm -hmm. digital transformation. So it is a type of uh, taxonomy uh, out of the automation that we group uh, this journey into, let's say, six levels. Okay, so these six levels, they were inspired by the, the uh, uh, automotive industry that it's a little bit more ahead on this type of journey. Uh, and basically what means this taxonomy is that this begins with the really no type of automation, that's what we call level zero towards level five, which is really an autonomous system. Mm -hmm. So, but it's still fully autonomous operation is yet to be achieved in most of the industries and mine is not different. Uh, I think uh, some of the companies are already operating towards what we call level three to level four, uh, which is already a very good level of, uh, let's say, uh, automation and data connection and data usage, okay? So, but the, the important is that not all customers needs to be really strictly thinking about being towards level five or uh, being really an autonomous plan to operate. What it's important is to use the technology to solve their problems and to stick with their vision of the future for their mine operation. That's, mm -hmm. that's how the, the plan should be traced. So what are the main challenges when automating mines today? Look, one of the main challenges is how to break down silos of operation. 
These are not only the traditional silos that uh, we see out there among uh, operation technology and information technology, but rather silos that exist within the operational technology area. One cl clear silo that we have is among process and power control. If we think about how the mines are becoming more and more electrified, we have to break down the traditional old mindset of having different process and electrical control systems. We have to rely on platforms such as ABB Ability 800XA, which is doing much more of uh, what a traditional DCS does. So it's not only taking the simple process control as perspective, but serving really as an OT integration layer that brings not only process and power control under the same hood, but also add layers of applications that in the past were done from isolated systems. Applications such as asset management, cameras and image control that will allow us to improve the situation awareness and the control of the plant. Okay. And, and so how should mine operators be approaching mine automation and digitization? Yeah, mine transformation towards a more, let's say, digital and sustainable operation is not going to happen overnight. It is important to firstly have a clear vision of on, on where the company really want to be and make use of the technology that is the most appropriate to meet these goals. So to really support our customers towards this transformation journey, in AVB, we created a structured approach that helps them to correctly pave the way towards where they want to be. The first step, it is too important to remind that the, the digital transformation is really based on, let's say, three main pillars, people, process, and technology. So those three needs to be taken hand in hand and together, and none of them need, uh, really, really uh, can be uh, left behind. So mm -hmm. from the technology perspective, it is important to base our solution in open platform, standard platforms that will help to speed up the implementation, adoption uh, of the technology, but also it will help to ease the maintenance of the solution during the plant life cycle. Solutions that will serve really as a data platform integration uh, and solutions such as, for instance, our ABB Ability mine, Mining Operation Management System that connects the data in a seamless, seamless way. And it really helps to connect what I said before, for instance, the data flowing from the mine to the processing plant in a one single unit and unified environment. Mm -hmm. The second item here, processes, they need to be changed. They need to be adapted. We cannot afford to operate the plants that we operate for years in the same way when we are, for instance, pushing the operation to a remote site, to big centers. So we have to change the way we operate and the processes need to be adapted in the methodology that we are doing the work in the daily basis. And mm -hmm. that goes very together with the third pillar and honestly the most critical one, which is the people management. So people are really at the center of the digital transformation and they have to be correctly educated to feel part of the process of the transformation. And not only just a user that will receive the solution in the end of a process, they need to be participating and help it to draw it together with the technology area and the operational area. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Glad to be here. Thank you.